Hello friends, if I ask you go to a website and there is a drop down, you click on the drop down and whatever the data is shown in the drop down, you should be able to pull all the data and show it to me. Will you be able to do it? Do you know how to do it? So let's learn in this video how to get all this drop down data and show it. Myself Rakesh from UiPath Expo Hub. In case you are a new visitor to our channel, please do subscribe and please do like all the videos that you are watching on our channel. With that, let's get started. So for this one, the very first thing I will do is, I will, the first activity that I'll be using is open browser, right? So that I open this site and I'm going to provide you the link to the site in the description, okay? So this is a Acme website link. I'm going to provide that to you. So here I'm going to copy this and the same link I will provide that in the description of this video. You can check that. Okay. So once I open the site, now the next thing what I want to do, I wanted to pull all this data. So these are called the children's of a container. Okay. So this is, if this is the container, these are the children's. So how do I find the children's is something we have to learn. For that, we have an activity called find children. So do along with me, you know, I hope you have created the open browser activity and have copied the link from the description box and have created this activity. Okay. After this, do along with me, try to, you know, drop the find children activity. Okay. So once you do this find children activity, the very first thing it will be asking is to indicate where you want to find children. What is that container? Okay. So once if you have already dragged and dropped, click on indicate on screen and highlight the vendor code. Okay. So the moment you highlight what happens, it is going to do the select. If you look at the selector, it's going to take the selector automatically. You don't have to do anything with that. Okay. So once, once the, this is being done, the only thing that we have to look in this particular property panel is the output. Okay. So whatever the children, so it could be 5, 10, 11, 12, 100, 300, doesn't matter. Whatever the children list is available, everything will get downloaded to this output. Okay. So here all your job is to create a variable control plus K and I am saying children data. Okay, so whatever variable you want to keep, children data, fine. Now the children data will contain all those data we understood. Now how do you really fetch that is the question. Okay, to fetch that what I will be using is a for each loop. Okay, now this is slightly, slightly complicated. It's not that straightforward. So once I use the for each loop, what I'm going to do, remember the output that you have created children data go to the variable panel and here you will find this is declared as i enumerable ui element so this is the array of ui elements okay this is the array of ui elements which contains lot many ui elements so for now to work on such ui elements i am using a simple for each loop and here in the for each loop what i am going to do i am going to mention that array of ui element variable children data. Now in the for each loop, what I'm going to do here, I have to set the right object to deal with. So click on browse for types. Okay. So here what you do, you need to remember this is UI element. So UI element is part of UI path core dot activities, right? So you will say UI path core dot UI element. Okay. So that is how you should remember. So this, this is the proper type argument data type okay i have selected the proper data type done after that this has to go along with the get attribute activity so what this does for example it will go through each loop right so in that website there are so many data so first it will pull this data so this ui element itself i have shown you in the selector chapter that each user interface element has got multiple attributes text inner text size length there are so many attributes right so what i'm going to do i am going to pull one of its attribute right not all the attributes so what do i mean 
here once I put the children data right here in the get attribute what you do on the right hand side it asks you what is that element for which you want to pull the attributes so what I am going to do here in the it this is very very important so here in the element section I am going to type item okay why item I am typing because each time it's going to loop through is going to take one one element from the children data array one one element will fed and is going to pull that details here so get attribute is going to work for the first element now so now once you do this please click on this drop down in the get attribute here is the drop down click on the drop down so it's going to show you all the attributes so if you see any user interface element that you find that will have all this common attributes like a name a state app so depending on the data it is going to automatically show you all the attributes so depending on the application this will the list will vary but again this is going to show you the entire list of attributes so here i am going to deal with the attribute called active accessibility name so this will have the title of that the title of that particular UI element called active accessibility name okay this will be very very important attribute which you should remember a name active accessibility name I am selecting so here what it's going to do is going to take that UI element and find the active accessibility name so whatever data is there in the active active accessibility name it's going to store that as an output so what I'm going to do I'm going to say control plus K and here I am going to say result data so whatever your, the output or result will come that is going to get stored over here okay so once it gets stored over here what i want i want that to be shown somewhere right so that i can see what how many such drop down list is there so every time the loop runs it will pull up the data and show you the output so here just to show you that how this is working let me use a write line or log message whatever activity you want to use so I am going to use a log message activity. Here I will select info and in the drop down I am going to select the result data. So it will pull out the A name. So for every element the A name will be different as per the list. So the first element A name will be D364676 right. For the second element this will be the A name. So like that it is going to pull all the A names or active accessibility name and it's going to log that so let me simply run it and then let me show you how it is working so let me close this page and try to run it so this is very very important this concept to work after that we will I will make some enhancement for example let me first show you this okay so here it's supposed to pull all the data and the output should get written so i'm just waiting for it to complete let me go back to ui path okay one of the mistake i did see this time it it is opening in ie okay so remember while using the uh, uh, open browser activity because all my elements have selected in chrome and I did not change this to Google Chrome. So what I am going to do, I am going to change it to Google Chrome so that it will work properly. Okay, so remember this. All right, so let me save it and run it. So all this fine children, everything I have done indicated in Google Chrome. So for the open browser activity also, I have to do the same thing. Okay, now let's see. Okay, once the job is done, okay, so you so the job is completed. So let me go to the output. So you can see. The entire output has pulled all the data okay all the data has been pulled so this is the way you will be using the find children activity in UI path the find children activity in UI path is very very important activity oh, and this will be very very useful so you have to know how to utilize the find children UI path activity guys so with this there are also couple of more asks that will arise in your mind okay so one of the question you will ask me Rakesh how about you know we showing the entire list to the customer let's say this is the drop down so once it goes and pulling all the attributes you are writing it in the output but again real time you will not write that in the output 
you will show it to the customer right somehow you have to show it to the customer and let the customer make a choice there or the customer might give a pre input so you should automatically as per his pre input you should automatically select and click okay so this kind of automation how will you do it so again i am going to come up with the next video where i am going to show you that and i am going to in detail i am going to show you various tricks of doing that activity so thank you for watching this guys please stay connected please do subscribe to our channel we come up on with daily videos daily we are uploading each uh, knowledge videos that will be helpful in your ui path journey so ensure you guys join our channel you guys subscribe you spread the word of mouth with your friends and ask them to be part of our family thank you guys have a great day